Some machines will have multiple isolation points, so we need to ensure all isolation points are in the off position and the machine is completely de-energised before we commence any maintenance or repair work. This can be further complicated when we have multiple people performing the repair and maintenance work at the same time. This three minute video outlines a procedure which demonstrates how complex isolations can be performed with ease. In the following situation, Jonathan, Peter and Alex are about to perform routine maintenance work on a machine which has multiple isolation points. Complex isolations require an isolation coordinator, referred to in this workplace as the isolating person. In this case, it will be Alex. His job is to make sure the machine is completely isolated before anyone commences work. He has developed an isolation plan and is about to put it into action. Alex will first need to ensure people and tools are cleared from the area before he commences isolation. The isolating person is responsible for locking all the points using yellow locks. The isolating person now locks all the keys to the yellow locks in a box using a green lock. This is to ensure that only he has the ability to unlock the isolation points. Now that the isolation leader has locked all points, he needs to brief his workers, confirm with them the machine has been completely de-energised and have them sign on to the isolation plan. To confirm all workers understand the isolation plan, they place their personal red locks with ID attached onto the lockbox. This then shows all workers who are on the machine at any one time. Now that the machine is safely isolated, workers are free to complete their work. Once the work is complete, the workers confirm this by notifying the isolating person, signing off the isolation plan, and removing their personal red locks from the lockbox. Now that it has been confirmed all workers and tools are clear from the machine, the isolating person is free to remove the yellow locks and re-energise the machine. This short video has explained one way to ensure machines are safely isolated before any work commences when multiple workers and multiple isolation points are involved. If you have any questions, you need to speak to your supervisor or health and safety representative to make sure you fully understand the procedure in your workplace.